guys, uh, we we're gonna do we're good we're gonna do something pretty magical here, and we have a special surprise for you. We've got something pretty special for you. It's a little bit time sensitive, so I apologize this for anything. This can go wrong in about 500 different ways. So tell me now, who wants to see a demo of Glass? Do you remember when Google unveiled Google Glass? Well, they have been vindicated. After a reported seven years of development and a staggering 5,000 patents, Apple has finally done it. Here comes Apple Vision Pro. It's been quite some time since we experienced a memorable one more thing announcement from Apple. While the true value, effectiveness, and future of the product remain uncertain, one fact is now undeniable. Unlike the extensively speculated Apple television and car, the augmented reality headset is indeed tangible and has finally become a reality. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of Tech Tales. Get ready to immerse yourself in the realm of innovation and imagination as we explore the highly anticipated device that has tech enthusiasts buzzing with anticipation, the Apple Vision Pro. Don't miss a beat. Hit that subscribe button below and join our community of tech enthusiasts as we dive deep into the world of cutting-edge innovations and unveil the future of tech. Let's get started. But before we start singing Apple's praises, let's take a moment to remember Google's ambitious venture, which I can arguably say paved the way for wearable technology long before the iPhone 5 was even a thought. In 2013, Google Glass emerged as a beacon of technological wonder. It was a pair of futuristic spectacles that promised to revolutionize the way we interacted with the world. With its sleek design and augmented reality capabilities, it was a product that seemed straight out of science fiction. Google Glass was launched in a spectacular way. Skydivers jumped out of a blimp while streaming the entire skydive right through Google Hangouts from their glasses. They landed on top of the building where Google I.O. was happening, toured through the inside on bikes to the stage. That was an amazing product launch. But why don't we hear about Google Glass anymore? It was a bitter lesson that Google can't forget. Despite its groundbreaking features, Google Glass crash-landed harder than an alien spaceship attempting a parallel parking maneuver. It started with grand visions of a techno-utopia, but ended up resembling a high-tech fishbowl strapped to people's faces. It's like they thought we all wanted to walk around looking like we just escaped from a futuristic pet store. Haters say it is the peril of trying to turn science fiction into everyday fashion. Google, in all its visionary glory, had indeed been ahead of its time. They envisioned a world where technology seamlessly integrated into our lives, enhancing our everyday experiences. But the world wasn't ready to embrace it fully. But now, Apple has taken up the challenge. They want us to believe that they did pick lessons from Google Glass. Apple is trying to sell us on their tech utopia. I can only say, good luck with that. Even what happened to Google Glass, they are trudging in mucky waters. Most people will not be quite ready to jump headfirst into their tech utopian dreamland. After all, I may be wrong. Welcome to WWDC. On June 5th, 2023, Apple hosted its Worldwide Developers Conference in Apple's biggest product event in years. Of course, AI did take center stage, much like Google I.O. two weeks earlier, Microsoft Build Event, 12 days earlier, NVIDIA's keynote at Computex one week earlier. I have covered all these events in other videos. You can check them on the channel videos page. But you know what? Apple does things differently. They mean business, and it was a proper event where they showcased a range of products in the pipeline. The most exciting product was the Apple Vision Pro. So what exactly is Apple Vision Pro? Apple Vision Pro is Apple's new $3,499 augmented reality headset. Yes, it will cost you a hopping $3,499 when it comes out sometimes in 2024. With Apple Vision Pro, the world might finally be ready to embrace the futuristic vision that Google had foreseen years ago. The stage is set for a new era of augmented reality, where we can see information, entertainment, and communication right before our eyes. It's a world where the digital and physical realms merge harmoniously, transforming the way we perceive and interact with the world. Let me make it absolutely clear that I'm not saying that it fulfills all its promises represents a truly groundbreaking shift in computing or any other grandiose claim that Apple aims to achieve upon its release. To form a thorough judgment, I will require a significantly longer period of hands-on experience with the device beyond a guided demonstration, but I think they missed a huge opportunity by not naming it iVision Pro. What do you think sounds better? The Apple Vision Pro immediately catches your attention with its ski goggle inspired chassis. Its continuous front panel, serving as a lens, encloses the wearer's eyes and cleverly hides a fan that cools the internal electronics. Unlike some competing augmented reality headsets, the Vision Pro does not have a built in battery pack. Instead, a wire connects to a separate battery pack that provides up to two hours of usage. 
The power consumption likely comes from the displays as the Vision Pro boasts two displays, in addition to an external panel, one for each eye, delivering a total of 23 million pixels. A custom 3D lens ensures that the user interface remains consistently in view, while features like HDR and wide color promise a visually superior image. The Apple Vision Pro operates on the standard M2 chip alongside a new R1 chip dedicated to video streaming. Internally, the Vision Pro houses an array of sensors, including infrared cameras for eye tracking, downward facing cameras for hand tracking, and lighter sensors for real time object tracking. These 23 sensors, which include a dozen cameras, five sensors, and six microphones, all feed into the R1 chip developed by Apple. The R1 chip is specifically designed to minimize lag and stream images to the headset's display at a staggering eight times faster than the blink of an eye, according to Apple's claims. One intriguing feature enabled by the R1 chip is EyeSight, which employs a front-facing display to reveal the user's eyes to others in the room, compensating for the opaque visor. This creates an authentic representation of the user through an initial facial scan, serving as their avatar within the headset. Its micro-old displays impress with approximately 64 pixels packed into the space of a typical iPhone pixel. The three-element lens enhances imaging from all perspectives. In collaboration with Zeus, Apple has integrated magnetic lenses for prescription wearers. While pre-recorded videos showcase this transparency effect, the practical effectiveness of EyeSight remains uncertain. Only real-world testing will determine its actual performance. The opaque display creates a darkened environment around images, with a particular emphasis on 2D photos from iPhones. Additionally, the headset features a built-in 3D camera for capturing spatial photos and videos. A movie theater option provides the illusion of a large, full-screen experience. Gaming is also included, but rather than offering a true virtual reality experience, it projects standard games onto a large screen. Disney is the initial content partner, highlighting promising prospects for future experiences, with Disney Plus set to be available at launch. Instead of an adapted iPod OS, Apple introduces Vision OS, a new operating system tailored specifically for spatial computing. Educational features, astronomical and health apps, and a music creation tool are among its offerings. Vision OS supports Microsoft Office apps as well as popular teleconferencing services like WebEx and Zoom. Existing apps will be compatible through porting and Apple is launching a dedicated app store for the headset. Unity collaboration ensures robust game development tools, promising a superior gaming experience compared to mere game porting. Enhanced security features are introduced with Optic ID, a new version of Face ID enabling secure usage of Apple Pay. Camera data is processed on board and Apple is clever enough to deal with privacy concerns by claiming it doesn't log the user's eye movement tracking information. There is much more to explore in Apple Vision Pro, but the Apple Vision Pro is in its early stages Make sure you check back in this channel in a few days for more videos on Apple Vision Pro. With a hefty price tag of $3,499, it is most likely that Apple Vision Pro will primarily target enterprise buyers over regular consumers. However, the inclusion of Pro in its name implies the possibility of a more affordable variant in the future. So if you're considering purchasing one, it's wise to start saving up now. But do you think it is finally time for Google to try a Google Glass comeback? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching, subscribe and watch out for the next episode of Tech Tales.